Hey YouTube, Wilm Racer here. Quick update on where the T38 Talon project sits. So I've got the fuselage all glued together. I'm not making the fuselage two pieces. Uh, the kit can be built that way, but I'm making it a single big piece. Uh, it'll be a little bit harder to transport, but I think it'll be worth the weight savings. I've got the access hatch built into the belly so I can get to my EDF unit and my tail servos. Got the tail surfaces just about ready for fiberglass. There's just a little bit of cleaning up to do. Uh, bearing block is installed, or bearing blocks are installed in the aft portion of the fuselage for the horizontal stabilizers. And uh, I'm ready to move on today to shaping the fuselage. Which is, so I went ahead and trimmed my plastic pieces so I can put them in place and eyeball, make sure everything looks right. And I really don't want to screw this part up. Um, so I went to my reference books, I went to my plastic model kit with my profile gauge, I went to the internet and looked up three views, and what I've come up with are these reverse templates based off of the three views and I confirmed them with the plastic model and these are going to help me as I work my way back along the fuselage just make sure that I'm getting the right lines of, for the aircraft. Something else that's going to help me if you check out this video right here you'll see uh, I did a little instructions on how to make these custom sanding blocks. So this sanding block has the lower and upper profile for the curves on the aft fuselage. This is going to help me keep that, that, that curve nice and consistent, consistent across both sides and front to back, and it's going to make sure that I get the right radius, that, uh, that my curves are not, I'm not just eyeballing this, I'm actually getting it scale. So I'm going to try to shoot some uh, time lapse video with the old clock over here. Uh, let's see how long this takes me. Check it out. So I'm going to start the process by sending the hatch flush with the belly of the aircraft. And when I'm happy with that, I'm going to move on to tackle the aft fuselage with those custom sanding blocks. I'm going to work my way slowly forward along the fuselage, stopping frequently to make sure that everything looks right. I'm marking the areas around the inlets that need to be recessed, being careful not to remove too much material. At this point I need to start checking the fit for the inlet ducts and start removing material from the inside of the fuselage so these ducts fit properly. I spend a little bit more time shaping around the inlets and at the aft of the fuselage and then I move on to focus on the forward fuselage and blending into the nose cone. Alright, so that took about 3 hours and 15 minutes of sanding to get a good rough shape on her. There's still more refining to do in the forward fuselage and the inlet area, but before I can do that, I actually need to install my fiberglass inlets. And before I can do that, I've got to go back and, in, and do a test fit of the JetFan 90. So I've got a lot more work to do, but if you want to see more on this project and other projects like it, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks!